Good afternoon. This is Rich Nash, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media. And I'm here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. And this week, I will be speaking with Scott Sellers, who is the President, CEO, and Co-Founder of Azul Systems. Good afternoon, Scott. How are you? I'm great, Rich. Uh, thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, so... Uh, you went from being entrenched in the graphics industry to a software company. Um, in one respect, it's a pretty radical switch. In another respect, it's uh, obvious. But um, why did you make that switch? Well, I, I, uh, after uh, being involved in the graphics industry for many years, and, and uh, it's a fantastic market, obviously it continues to be one, uh, I was looking for something very different. Uh, one of the things that I enjoyed um, as part of my role at 3DFX and, and being involved in the graphics business in general was interacting with the developers. And um, at 3DFX, we had a very, very uh, active developer relations program, and, and I think uh, most would credit 3DFX's success at the time. It was all about the content. And so um, interacting with developers, um, being uh, understanding what they needed in terms of next generation technologies, all those types of things, um, you know, really was was very interesting to me. Um, and so, as I started looking at other opportunities, um, I still wanted to do something in the context of some sort of software development, and being uh, very closely uh, involved with with software developers in general. Obviously, what we've done with Azul is we've moved from consumer to, uh, to enterprise and uh, has expanded from enterprise into embedded. But the theme certainly still remains that we're, uh, we're very much all about uh, making uh, lives on our developers and the architects that much easier. Okay, very good. I assume that you're happy with the switch that you made? Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's, you know, there are so many different things you can do with, with your career and, and uh, with the technical background that I have. Um, I, I, I like technology, I like technologists, I like problem solving, and um, you know, I think like most people that have a, a natural um, inquisitive mind, um, lots of different things you can, you can do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, Java and, and virtual machines in general uh, continue to be a, a fascinating market. Uh, we're seeing it um, you know, going in places probably it was never envisioned uh, back in the days when it was invented at Sun. And that's what keeps it, it fascinating for us is uh, the use cases, the types of customers that we interact with and we engage with on a daily basis. Okay, so let's talk about Java for a minute here because that's what uh, Azul is really good at. The studies that I see regularly show that there's, very, there's a very small use of Java um, by developers. Are you seeing the same thing? And, I mean, what – sort of trends are you, are you seeing with respect to Java? Well, I, I actually would, uh, would disagree with that. Uh, we actually see uh, Java uh, is and remains the number one uh, chosen programming language uh, in the market overall. Um, there's, of course, all sorts of different ways of, of measuring language popularity, everything from there's a, uh, a programming index called the uh, TIOBE, there's uh, GitHub language uh, rankings, there's Stack Overflow language mentions, there's search results, you know, on and on and on. And consistently uh, through the years, Java has ranked number one or number two in, in all those different types of metrics. So um, Java, I don't think anyone actually disputes that Java as of now um, is the most popular language of choice overall. Now, certainly there are different market segments where uh, Java has more or less footprint. Uh, for example, in, in the server-side enterprise, which is one of the, uh, um, the, the major market uh, focus areas that we have at Azul, um, I think, again, Java is unquestionably number one. Uh, certainly other areas, for example, um, you know, web-style development and things like that, um, obviously in, in the mobile sector, uh, given uh, Apple and, uh, and Google uh, being the two dominant providers. Neither of those are, um, certainly in the case of Apple, it's not Java at all. In the case of, of Google and Android, it is Java-like, so I'm not including that in the numbers that I mentioned. Um, so in the mobile segment, certainly uh, it's not about Java, but, but you know, overall, uh, Java continues to have the most number of programmers in the world. It continues to have uh, 
a lot of momentum and also, you know, momentum going into other market segments that historically has not played. What do you see as the biggest competitor to Java? Well, um, I think at the end of the day, uh, it's probably legacy C and C++. Uh, you know, good old-fashioned C, C++ continues to be a very capable language, um, very popular. Um, certainly many people know those languages. And, uh, you know, in the embedded space specifically, where um, developers like to feel a little bit like, like they're closer to the hardware, um, that they have a bit more control over exactly what a uh, given line of code is going to do. Um, I think C and C++ are, are probably going to be the dominant um, languages in, in that market, at least for now. Um, other markets, uh, for example, in, in enterprise and, and um, you know, certainly for emerging companies, um, there's a lot of different um, languages that are now being used. Uh, JavaScript and its server side called Node.js. Um, certainly Microsoft's uh, .NET environment is very prevalent for more you know, departmental and client-side types of applications, uh, Python, uh, PHP, et cetera. So there's obviously a, a, a plethora of languages out there, um, and uh, you know, there's many that have sort of single-digit market share numbers. Um, but you know, again, Java continues to be the, 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 uh, the 300-pound gorilla in, in the language space. Very good. <clears throat> well, that was pretty good insight in, in, into, that, uh, into that technology. I'm afraid we've used up our five minutes and then some. Uh, that was five minutes with Scott Sellers, President, CEO, and co-founder of Azul Systems, and I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media. Uh, that was a good interview, Scott. Thank you very much. Thank you.